on this episode of Conspiracy MF, we'll take a look at a strange phenomenon. Ghosts. 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 Seen and heard by interstate truck drivers. Late at night, with sleep coming on, it's not unusual in a near dream state to see things and hear things. But on the road, you have to ask yourself, was that ghostly face I thought I saw out of the corner of my eye real? A truck driving man sat down with us to tell us some of the most frightening stories of the road he's known in his 20 years on the job. And here's your Conspiracy MF host, Nick Whippet. We're back for Series 3 of Conspiracy MF, where we do hardcore investigations of the paranormal. A lot of people complained about Series 2 of the show. They said we spent more time raising cash for the show than we did for investigations. Well, we have our reasons. And of course, there are problems with Series 1 as well. Now we got a good camera, some set design, and comfortable chairs. It's all coming together. <laughs> the place also smells like bleach rather than spoiled meat. And you've got a co-host. Only temporarily. And only because your husband provided the cash for the necessary upgrades. I'm Nick's cousin, Myra Singleton. Of Singleton Apparel for Women. Kind of screwing with my head with my cousin looking that way. I'm going to face this way and talk about our latest investigation. Our latest investigation is into ghosts. 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 The ghost stories truckers acquire. Traveling America's back roads. Just like Singleton Fashions acquires great nighttime outfits that can make any woman feel her sexy best. Can you cool it with the sexy best stuff? What's wrong with sexy best? Nothing, as long as not my cousin or my mother saying it. On this episode of the show Conspiracy MF, we'll take a look at the ghost stories that take place on America's highways. Stories passed from trucker to trucker at rest stops, crisscrossing the American landscape. And why shouldn't America's highways have ghost stories? You think some other country deserves them more? If some country like India laid claim to better ghost stories than America, I would show up in India with bear repellent and a regulation Louisville slugger, and I would beat my way from one end of the country to the other. This show is Conspiracy MF. This show is Conspiracy MF. This show is Conspiracy MF. This is the first episode of the show that I had a personal hand in directing. Hey, is, is my main area in the shot? Camera one's got it. Yep. That's the full extent of my directing, everybody. We're rolling, everybody. During the recording of this episode, Nick Whippet used a new therapy method to control his ever-present temper. The therapy method requires that he immediately apologize for any irritability he may display or infraction of manners he may commit. Nick did in fact lose his temper with his interview subject during the filming of this episode. Nick's interview subject requested many considerations such as visual and voice distortions to hide his identity. After going to considerable trouble to accommodate the interview subject, Nick was put out when the interview subject gave a cheeky answer to Nick's first question. You've seen a lot of mysterious things in your time on the road. Some that can't possibly be explained. Would you like to explain that? If a thing can't be explained, how could I or anyone else explain it? Don't call me out, cocksucker! I'll bust you so hard and fast. You'll think someone set off miniature landmines on your nerve endings. Oh. 
Accept my apologies for threatening you. I've been experiencing uh, certain frustrations. Nick's interview subject did not immediately accept Nick's apology. 